So I think I mentioned in the prelude, but just to go over it again because it is very significant to this vlog, um, when the surgeon went in um, and removed the tumor from my tongue, um, that that's all good. They think they got good margins. Um, my mouth should be clean of the cancer. But when they went into my neck, they found two lymph nodes. Two. There's usually like hundreds. They got two. One was clean, and the other had cancer in it with what they're calling um, extra nodular nodular activity. I think I got that right. Extra nodular activity, which means um, it had claws, I guess, and was digging in to the inside of my neck, well, wherever they sliced it out. Um, because of that, uh, because it had those little claws or whatever, the hooks, um, all three doctors agree, ear, nose, and throat, um, uh, the, uh, my radiologist, I, I'm, that's not right, my oncologist, and then the one that takes care of radiation, who's going here? I guess she's my radiation oncologist, I don't know. Anyway, the three of them say, the only way to go now is chemotherapy, radiation. Um, the biggest drawback to that is, um, you know, I'm doing this without insurance. Um, and I live on a very fixed income. Um, unfortunately, um, a lot of people's perceptions of uh, Charles and I, uh, my, my producer on Neighbor, is that we're rich because we're filmmakers. Um, we're not. We, we never even got paid for neighbor, that sort of thing. Uh, we're usually the last to get paid. Um, so, like I said, this is all out of pocket. Um, I'm not going to say the specific price, but it costs more than the new car I was looking at at the beginning of the summer to do chemotherapy and radiation um, before the hospital will even allow me to continue treatment. They want a nice chunk of that. Um, I should say it's more than four thousand, less than five thousand, but that's still thousands more than I have at my disposal. So I'm not really sure what to do. Um, you know, some friends have mentioned you know throwing some sort of benefit together or a beef and beer sort of thing, which would be amazing. That'd be all you know, well and good, and you know I've sort of uh, been beaten down enough in the humility uh, department. Uh, to take it at this point, but I, I mean, I don't know how that works, and I'm not really going to count on that. Um, what I could do is deny the chemotherapy and radiation anyway, because my point of view is, well, if there was two, and they got the one, and, and they took out the whole chunk that the little guy was high, you know, holding on to anyway, well, maybe they got it. Um, my oncologist, who I actually, I really like him, Dr. Ravito at, um, Delaware County Community Hospital, you know, him playing devil's advocate, his answer to that was, well, what if he didn't get it? You know, it's, we're talking micro, mi microscopic sort of guys. So, I can either, you know, um, postpone the treatment in a couple of weeks until I can try to drum up the money somehow just to get it started, or I can deny it altogether. There's a place near me that I'm, I actually am going to visit next Tuesday. Um, their website is beatcancer.org and their whole thing is um, naturally getting past it. You know, I mean, maybe if there's a little teen guy still floating around, um, if I follow all their suggestions and, and basically eat what they tell me to eat, uh, proper exercise, you know, basically a proper way of living, um, it should keep it from growing if it's still there, maybe shrink it, you know, whatever, maybe kill it, who knows. Um, it's worked for a lot of people. I just want to read some of the um, side effects for the chemotherapy. The side effects which may occur during treatment include but are not limited to redness or tanning of the skin within the area of radiation, temporary loss of hair which may not regrow, soreness in the mouth and throat, difficulty, pain, or burning sensation on swallowing, thickened saliva, dryness of the mouth, painful swelling of glands, fluid in the ears which may require drainage tubes, hoarseness, 
fatigue, loss of appetite, weight loss, and decrease in blood counts. My teeth will be evaluated by my dentist. Any teeth that cannot be restored and are in the field of radiation will be extracted. Any damage to the teeth or low bone is minimized with the use of fluoride. Possible late effects of radiation include changes in the skin of the neck tightness, permanent inability to swallow requiring a permanent feeding tube, persistent hoarseness, permanent dryness of the mouth, permanent loss of taste, dental cavities, damage to the soft tissue or jawbone which might cause pain and if severe could require surgery and damage to the larynx which could require removal of the larynx. So that doesn't sound like a lot of fun. Um, I could dodge all that. I mean, you know, maybe not all of those things would happen. Maybe one. But those are all the side effects. I could not do radiation. Um, and I'd have to worry about that. I guess the drawback to that is um, the tumor would be stronger than what I'm doing. Grow back, get into my bloodstream, go somewhere else, and uh, kill me. So what do you guys think? Um, do I just try to drum up the money? Or do I go natural? Do I go holistic? It's worked for a lot, a lot of people. Um, for many, it hasn't. But, uh, the, you know, there, there are people walking around 25 years after they were told they had six months to live just because they took all these steps that the, the um, cancer center will, will tell me about. I'm torn. I, I, I don't know. Some Sometimes I'm like, it's gone. You know, fuck it. I could be to my, you know, the rest myself. And then there's times where I'm like, they wouldn't tell you all this has to happen if it really didn't need to happen. Um, you know, while I'm prone to mood swings, you know, I don't want to die. I don't want to die anytime soon, I should say. You know, I don't know we have a, an end date in our existence, but, you know, I would like mine to be when I'm, like, old, older. Uh, so, I don't know, you guys tell me, what do you think? Leave it in the comment field. Um, send me a video response if you want. I'd love to see you, you know, uh, cyber face-to-face. -face. Um, I'll be in touch soon. I'll let you know what's up. Uh, but I guess that's that for now. To the loo. I don't like that for a second. I'll think of something. P.S. Special thanks to Kurt Oldman for composing the theme to these vlogs. Um, being a movie nerd my whole life, it's, there's something really fun about having a, your own theme. So thank you so much, Kurt. Um, I'll be using it throughout the vlogs. Cool.